When you get the embed code for a YouTube video, it looks something like this, where you'll have youtube.com slash embed, and then the ID of the particular video that you have embedded, and then it will have this question mark rel equals, or it might not. If it's not there, then it will show related videos at the end of the video. If it is there, then it will not show related videos at the end of the video. So question mark rel equals zero. We'll make sure that related videos don't show up. And then if you want to hide the controls or keep the controls while it's playing, the default for this particular code is auto hide equals zero. And you can see what happens. I'll go ahead and refresh this here and we'll play the video. So if we don't have that auto hide code on there, because I've just added it in, but if there's no auto hide code, we press play and I scroll off of the video, then those controls disappear and you see just this little status bar down at the bottom until you scroll over it again. If you just want to show the status of the video, how far it's loaded, but you don't want to keep the controls up, then you'll just want to keep this auto hide code off of there. But if you'd like to have the controls stay live, choose auto hide equals two. Auto hide two will show the controls at the beginning and then leave them up the entire time. And then when I scroll off of it, you'll see that the player controls still stay up. So that's what happens when you set it as auto hide equals two. If you set it to auto hide equals one, and we'll click refresh here, you'll see that no player controls come up when the video first loads, and then you go ahead and click play. The scroller disappears entirely, so you don't even get a status bar at the bottom. When you set it to one, it just disappears completely. That is how you hide the controls in a YouTube player or show the controls in a YouTube player once you've embedded it on a web page. My name is Jonathan Kraft. I made all of these YouTube videos about how to do things with YouTube videos on a web page. So go check them out. They are very interesting. And if you watch even half of them, you'll know more about embedding YouTube videos on web pages than anybody. Well, anybody who hasn't watched these videos. Enjoy. Seriously, check one of them out. I'll just, I'll just wait here. Really, they're, they're just right below. I'm just holding up my camera. Uh, seriously, just click on one of them, any of them. Really, pick one. They're all clickable. So just pick one, any of them. I'll just hang out, it's cool. I don't mind. If you liked this video, please be sure to give it a thumbs up below. Be sure to subscribe as we have more helpful videos almost every single day. If you have any questions that we can answer for you, please be sure to come and visit us at showmehowtodothis.com.